Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing so well. So today I'm going to be doing a spring haul and this video is in collaboration with The Peach Box. I'm going to be showing two of their items and I'm really happy to be collaborating with them because they have some really, really lovely accessories and I really encourage you guys to go and check their website out. I'll leave it linked down below. But anyway, let's just get on with the haul. So first I'm gonna start out with shoes and accessories. The only pair of shoes I have to show are these little white sneakers. Um, these are from Target. It's like blending in with everything. These are from Target. They were $25 and they are just your classic white sneaker. They have little hole detailings here. Um, and yeah, really happy with these because I have all black shoes and I realized I'm gonna need white sometimes to kind of, you know, jazz it up a bit, make it look a bit more fresh for spring, you know, with the brighter colors. Um, I'm a really, really avid black wearer, so I wear black all the time and I just need to branch out, which I'm trying to do with my little um, jumper here. So, got these. The two accessories are from the Peach Box and um, I'm going to show you the pair of earrings I got first. I'm obsessed with earrings. I love earrings so much. And of course I got them in silver because I still haven't branched out of my silver comfort zone. Um, I just love silver. Okay. So the packaging is like this, comes in this little black box and you just slide it on out of there. Here's another box. <laughs> um, so they have the peach box, little branding on the box and then you open it. And then there's this little bag. Oh my God, ah! comes with this little baggie that you can put your earrings in so you don't lose them or drop them like I did just then. Really cute and you just cinch it in like that. Then the earrings come in like here, but mine just dropped out because I didn't put them in properly. These are the earrings here. There's one there and they're just like so dainty and so pretty. So that's what one of them looks like. And then the other one's the same, but this one's a bit tangled as well. They just look so pretty. Like how nice is that? I mean, <laughs> no, I'm like this, but how nice would they look? Just dangling like that. Just so happy with these. Another pair of earrings to add to my collection and wear the crap out of. Um, I have like these little round silver hoops at the moment and I can't really bother taking them out. So yeah. The next thing I have to show you from the peach box is this watch. So it's the same concept as the other packaging. You just slide it out of this little box. Hello. Like this. And this watch is actually by Mark Bale. So it has, instead of the peach box, it has Mark Bale on the front. And then you just open the box, which, and I always forget. So you just slide it out like this. And this is the, um, is my nose bleeding? Why did it feel like it was bleeding? So it comes with this little Mark Bale card and it's just the watch warranty. So it just explains everything on the back. And then the watch looks like this. And unfortunately this is a bit too big for me, so um, I won't be able to wear it, but it's so pretty and I'm so sad that it doesn't fit me. My wrists are really petite and I was a bit unsure whether it would fit me or not. So yeah, I, didn't, I don't think there was sizes to choose from unless I just completely zoned out when I was ordering these, but yeah. So I'll just show you how it would look if it did fit my arm. It's really easy, you just clip this together and then that's what it would look like on your arm. If you're a normal person and you had you have normal sized wrists, um, it would fit properly. But yeah, it's just a bit too big for me. The face has like silver little diamantes on them, if you can see that there. And then the strap is like this mesh silver little look and it's just so pretty it reminds me of a michael kors watch but you know your girl's not um rich enough for michael kors yet so that's the last thing that i got from the peach box thank you guys so much for working with me but i might give it to my mom you know I might give it to someone else that can cherish it okay we're going to move on to clothes so my princess polly order came today haven't opened it yet so i'm going to open that last because i am truly excited for it but um, I only have a few products that I, ha I have picked up lately. So one of them is this jumper from Tempt. This was in the sales section. It was $10. Um, and it's just this kind of cropped slouchy jumper 
the sleeves are like balloon sleeves but then they cuff at the wrist which i really like um and the colors are just red white like a stone kind of color and black so i really like this i got this in a size medium and it fits really nicely you can just chuck it on with a pair of jeans or whatever um and yeah just really easy to wear and it's really nice colors as well very different and i like it so that's the first thing. The next two things are from Pretty Little Thing. I had ordered two dresses in these in this order as well. Um, but yeah, I kind of tried my luck a little bit. I was like, never really wear short dresses, tight dresses. Um, and they just looked, looked awful on me. So I ended up just sticking with these other two things I ordered. And I sent those other dresses back. I got this pair of... Um, like culottes, I think that's what they're called. They're just this cheetah or leopard print. I forget which one it is. Um, and they're like wide leg pants. They're high waisted. <sighs> I had been on the hunt for like a pair of pants like these for a long time. They were sold out of size 12. So I'm squeezing into a size 10 and honey, it's not pretty. Um, but I think if I wear like a nice kind of baggy black jumper or something over it, you won't really be able to tell that you can see my pot belly. Um, but it's really good because these are quite stretchy and they don't like hurt um, Like the band doesn't hurt your stomach if it's too small if that makes sense. So yeah, I like these They're really nice. The last thing I got from pretty little thing was this top Never ever wear tops like this, but I thought I'd step out of my comfort zone. It looks like this It's this black fringe singlet crop top if that's what you call it and it has just like black fringe on the front and then the back is just plain but I thought it would be really nice to just jazz up an outfit make it look a bit more you know fancy um I just really really love fringe so really excited to wear that okay the last thing is my princess poly package so where are my scissors okay so the first thing is the make the cut top in black marble this is i think just like a plain black crop top so this is what it looks like here i got it in a size up because that's all they had left um but it is gorgeous oh my god oh my god i love it so i love slouchy crops like this they're the only type of crop tops i'll really wear so um this is what it looks like hopefully you can see um, the sleeves are really nice and long, but they're not like, what are they called? They're not like, um, like this sort of sleeve, like they're not wide. So love that. And then if you can see here, it looks like it's just been cut into like a V and it's just really nice. So really excited for that top. <laughs> the last thing I got again, out of my comfort zone, oh, it comes with a belt. Cool. Okay. So it's the worst behavior pants in blue. So, this is what they look like. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how these are going to look on me. I hope they look nice. Um, they have this little zip detailing here with like the little circle. And I'm just super excited to wear these. They have little belt holes, I guess, for this belt that came with it. Um, just comes with this little black belt. And yeah, I'm excited. I hope those two go together because I was planning to wear them together. So yeah, they are just like kind of, they're not skinny. They're quite wide leg pants, but I hope they work with what I wanted them to work with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.